Welcome back, college football fans, to LRT TV, home of the Big Three Online Dynasty. And we're bringing you another humdinger of a Big 12 conference game as the undefeated Idaho Vandals have homecoming in the Kibbe Dome, facing off against undefeated conference rival Arkansas. One team's leaving the Kibbe Dome with a loss. Who's it going to be? Stay tuned after the intro to find out. Welcome back, everybody, to week six on the Big Three Online Dynasty. Idaho's got another big one against 5-0 Arkansas, and this was supposed to be a user game, but uh, we got disconnected at halftime due to me having the channel. My opponent was amazing and let me play against the computer. And let me say right away, I lucked out in that because he is easily a top three undisputed player in the Dynasty, so I really lucked out on not having to face him. But, uh, you know, we wanted the challenge, but uh, it was nice for him to let us do it. And you can see there, uh, the Kansas running back, was able to win Big 12 Conference Player of the Week, even though I really thought Isaiah Saunders had a shot at it after his huge performance last week. Leave a comment down below if you think Isaiah Saunders should have won it over that Kansas running back. And as you can see here, Arkansas still undefeated. Um, had a great start of the season. All of them have been conference games, which is quite amazing. They're 5-0 in conference. You can see both of us are the Big 12 North leaders right now and the leaders in the Big 12. So whoever wins this one literally has control over the rest of the season just win and you're in baby to the conference championship but uh let's kick it off and get to the play on the field here inside the kibbe dome as you can see the fans are trying to black out the dome and matt linhan trying to lead the Idaho vandals to victory and on first and ten he'll hand on a sweep to jacob sannon on second and six he'll hand it off the middle to isaiah saunders who rumbles and tumbles for first down some big yard pickups there Dion Watson motions to the left. They'll hand it off to Saunders. Shrugs off tackle. Only able to get a yard there. He'll hand it off to him again. Idaho trying to get Isaiah Saunders started early in this one. Third and six. Matt Linehan rolls out to his right. No one open. He's looking deep. Can't get anything. Loses a yard there. And Idaho is forced to punt. Now Ricky Towns, the talented Arkansas freshman quarterback, gets a big play there. The Jeremy Sprinkle for first down. First and ten. Drop him back. Town. All day in the pocket. Literally not even a teensy bit of pressure. He'll keep rolling out right till somebody gets open. However, luckily nobody can quite get to the ball where he put it. Bringing up second and ten. Idaho really needs to pressure the quarterback in this one. If Ricky Towns has all day like that, he'll eventually find some guys and not be overthrowing and underthrowing these wide open wide receivers. Finally, they get some pressure there to force a fourth down and forcing an Arkansas punt. And they'll punt it to Ruben Moella. The senior out of Bellevue, Washington. And he'll roll out to the right. He's got some room to the 40. Has about a 20-yard return there. Some good pickup there for the Idaho Vandals. And on the read option, Matt Linnan decides to keep it to the left. He'll slide, protect himself from the hit. Second and four. Drops back. Rolls out to his right. Looking for a man open. He'll take it himself again, but takes a big hit there. Not quite enough for the first down. Probably should have slid to stay safe. Third and inches. Handed off to Saunders. He'll fall forward for a yard every time. First down, Idaho Vandals. Play action pass. Matt Linehan hits. Brady Straw back to fullback in the flats there he shrugs off some tackles for a nice 10 yard gain second and inches they'll fake the play play action there hit Dion Watson on the shallow crossing route out to the left first down seven yard reception for Dion Watson hand off to the big man Isaiah Saunders for eight yard carry third and two this time Duckworth comes in and he just doesn't have the the oomph that Saunders does but they're gonna try to get a quick count here and get the defense jump off sides and they do they hand it off to Duckworth and he can't get the first down it's a turnover no flag there Idaho not happy as they thought they got the free play there but apparently the computer saw it otherwise DJ Hampton dropping an interception here second and ten Ricky Towns drops back good pick up there by the right tackle on that outside linebacker blitz but it doesn't matter as the Arkansas State receivers just throwing people off Hatcher going for 23 there Ricky Towns looking for him again Hatcher is going to be just open all game if Idaho doesn't start getting up an impression on him there. As that's two hitch routes right there over the middle. He'll find Dominique Reed for the first down. First and 10. Ricky Towns finally getting a groove there. Overthrows Jeremy Sprinkle, bringing up second and 10. Once again, overthrows being the killer for the young Ricky Towns there. He feels Pressure up the middle by Santa and Russell CVE drops in the end zone. And that will be a field goal attempt, and it is good. Idaho had a chance to pick the ball off there. However, Arkansas escapes with three points. Toss to the left. Isaiah Saunders looks like he's going up. Decides to bounce it out to the left for a nice seven-yard gain. Might have had more up the middle, but you never know. Deion Watson over the middle crosses the 50-yard line. Deion Watson looking to get involved early. Same with Isaiah Saunders. He had a hole there, but the end just broke off his tackle to really bring him down for a seven-yard gain. Jacob Santa on the hits there. 
there. And they are inside the 30-yard line here. Handoff to the right to Jacob Sandin. That is a 10-yard pickup to end the first quarter. 3-0 Arkansas. Idaho, however, driving in this one. As once again, they are the worst team on paper in this one. But really showing that they can play with anybody in the Big 12. Second and nine. Play action pass, and he'll find Dion Watson for Idaho's first touchdown. Idaho takes the first lead of the game. 7-3 in front of the home fans on homecoming as they black out the Kibbe Dome. All right, first and 10 here. Ricky Towns drops out once again. He hits Drew Morgan this time on a hitch route, who's breaking more tackles. Takes it across the 50. Big pickup there by the Arkansas wide receiver. Ricky Towns looking deep again. Kind of overthrows Drew again. Drops back here, second and 10, rolls out, and he'll find Jeremy Sprinkle. It's the same three guys that are beating us, Reed, Sprinkle, and Morgan right now. And Idaho needs to find a way to come up and pressure these guys more at the line of scrimmage because they just are wide open on these hitch routes and shallow little crosses. Second and goal, Ricky Towns dropped back. This is a really pass-happy offense in Arkansas, more so than you expect from a Brett Belima run team. And right there you see the big old tight end getting a uh, nice stiff arm to get the Arkansas touchdown, taking it. To a 10-7 Arkansas lead here in Moscow, Idaho. Matt Linehan and the Idaho Vandal offense trying to answer here. And they do after the audible Jacob Sandler with no one within 15 yards of him. The 20, the 15, the 10, the 5. No one's going to touch him. Touchdown Idaho as they retake the lead here on a 66-yard touchdown reception. And the fans are loving it. Look at them go. All right, Ricky Towns now trying to answer. He gets held up in the backfield by his own guy there, but he's able to find Jeremy Sprinkle once again. Jeremy Sprinkle just finding the room in the zone defense. And it's really paying off as he's picked up a couple of first downs here for the Arkansas offense. All right, second and two here. Arkansas trying to answer. They're down by four, and it just looks like a broken play there as Ricky Towns had nothing to do but just eat that tackle for a loss. Third and four. Can Idaho get them off the field? And he rolls out, and Drew Morgan with the butterfingers there is going to drop the pass, giving the ball back to Matt Linehan in this offense who have scored on their last two possessions. And he'll find Deion Watson once again over the middle. Deion Watson just seems to find room in the middle. He has been eating defenses alive all season over the middle. Buck Cowan with a nice spin move there. Spin move again. And then he gets clocked by Ellis there over the middle. And that is going to hurt him. As you can see, that hit just clocked him right in the ribs. And that one's going to be big as the senior Buck Cowan is going to be out for three weeks with a broken limb. Meaning senior Eric Lemke is going to have to come in and really fill some big shoes as... Um, Buck Cowan was someone Idaho was really looking to get involved here as the season progressed. But now we're out with him for three more games, and we really have a big one here against Arkansas. And then after the clipping penalty forces a first and long, and Idaho can't pick up anything there on second and long, bringing up third and even longer. Matt Linehan rolling out to his right, as he usually does, looks deep, and tries to look for his big play man, Deion Watson. But Arkansas right there forcing the punt, and you won't see that very often. The nation's best punter really just muffs one there, given the field position to Arkansas as they're already across the 50 on their first play of the drive with only a five-yard carry. Now Walker rumbling and tumbling forward and he'll pick up the first down. First and 10. Arkansas looking deep. He'll find Keon Hatcher who drops the Ricky Towns pass. Arkansas having some problems in the for the wide receivers holding on the ball. And once again, there's Reed this time. So all three of Arkansas's main receiving threats have a drop already in the first half of this game. Ricky Towns gets one really luckily off there. And you could tell the, the bump there by his the offensive lineman really affected him as Desmond Banks was easily in the best position for that. And you can see he's trying to tell his coach that, but coach doesn't care. He's going to tell him to protect that football. Three-yard carry in the shadow of their own goal line, Idaho. Not helping there with the false start. Bring it up second and nine. Isaiah, or Kaylin Hightower on the fly sweep goes way deep in his end zone, deeper than what I like, but really makes something out of it. Don't question. When you got a player, just get him the ball and let him do something. Kaylin Hightower, quiet last game. They're trying to get involved in this one with the fly sweep there. Picks up the first down. Now it's first and 10 with a little bit more room to go. They find Kaylin Hightower again. Once again, you got a playmaker, get them the ball. Jacob Sannon getting the first down here, and that. Idaho, once again, their offense hasn't seemed to struggle in this game other than a couple penalties and, you know, the offensive line not giving Linehan enough time as they'll have to throw it away there. So Idaho's just trying to get Rico in position here as the seconds are ticking down here in the first half. Finds Ruben Moella. They're on the right side of the 50. Just need a couple more yards to get in field goal range. He'll find Saunders who just sits down on the flat there. First and 10, picking up 9 or 10 yards. Second and inches, 22, 21, 20. Isaiah Saunders breaking tackles, picking up the first down. 19 seconds left. Idaho, one timeout left, and they are trying to get a touchdown here if they can. But if worst case scenario is just give it to the big boot, Austin Rico, and they get 
lucky there for Fine Kaelin Hightower, but somehow he caught it in the end zone, but the ball never broke the goal line, as you can see here in the 360 angle, and then he comes out of it. That was not ruled a touchdown. Six seconds left. Matt Linhan rolling out to his right, throws off the tackle. He'll get the touchdown himself there. Throwing off a nice uh, little safety there for Idaho taking the lead going into halftime. You can see they are out playing. Arkansas going in this one. Defense on fire. Offense on fire. 11-point lead at halftime. The underdog Vandals at home. Blacking out the dome on homecoming. Trying to go to 5-0 on the season. And Cody Walker getting a huge run here. He beats Desmond Banks, who just takes a bad angle at that one. Touchdown, Razorbacks. It's just a broken play there and bad angles led to Arkansas. Getting a huge touchdown run here early in the second half. Now they will kick it off to Ruben Moella, who's been a game breaker here on special teams. He finds a whole nice block there. He's got the 40. He's got one man to meet. He didn't get the block. He's going to take it all the way. Ru Ruben Moella, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. But what? A flag? They call a clipping penalty on none other than Buck Cowan for placement. This is unneeded. He's just shoving over the kicker here. But, I mean, you can't call that. It didn't even affect the play. But against the kicker, they call it. And that really hurts Idaho as a touchdown is taken off the board here. But Isaiah Saunders, he's like, you know what? Better chance for me to get my stats padded. But Matt Linehan, no chance there. It's, that was just great D-line play. He had all six of them looking at him as he takes a big 12-yard sack there. Bringing up second and 22 for the Idaho Vandals. But on the right side of the field, Jacob Sandin once again sits down in the zone. 11 yards. Third and 11. Matt Linehan finds Duckworth over the middle. That's not going to be enough. Gets to the 30-yard line. That's easily Rico range. And he's almost automatic. Three points, Idaho, as they make it a seven-point lead here midway through the third quarter. Drew Morgan once again finds some room. Makes a nice reception. Second and seven. Ricky Towns, the young man for Arkansas. All day in the pocket. He'll find Jeremy Sprinkle or Drew Morgan, whoever that was supposed to go to, but they'll both not be able to come up with it. Although Keon Hatcher's like, just throw it to me, coach. I've got the hands in this one. Ricky Towns starting to get a groove. Cody Walker starting to get a rumble. Arkansas really hasn't felt like they've had the offensive presence in this one that Idaho has, but they're still in it somehow. Idaho's defense, however, playing lights out other than a couple just bad routes and bad tackling. Just trying to get another turnover and possibly just give this one back over the offense and put it away here in the third quarter. Ricky Towns, though, he's got other ideas as he'll find Drew Morgan, who drops another one. Desmond Banks thought it was him, but it wasn't. He'll find Cantrell, who scored their first touchdown, who just won't go down. This man just refuses to be tackled. However, Arkansas gets hit with a false start bug here, bringing up third and six now. And he'll find that way. Head away over the middle for an 18 yard gain and into the red zone. Ricky Town leaving this offense down the field, trying to tie it up here. Second and 10, and he'll find Jeremy Sprinkle. We are all tied up here in the KB Dome in the third quarter. Matt Linehan finds Deion Watson, who just can't locate the ball there. Incomplete. Second and 10. He'll hand off to the right. Isaiah Saunders gets a couple yards there. Third and six. Now Matt Linehan gets sacked. And it is starting to show that Arkansas is just more athletic on the line as Matt Linehan is having less and less time as this game goes on. As Arkansas's depth is becoming more and more apparent, it seems like, on every single possession on both offense and defense. Ricky Town dropping back, second and nine after another false start. He'll find Cornelius over the middle who gets a huge 30-yard reception there and almost to the right side of 50. But if he can't get it, Cody Walker can. That's a 12-yard gain there by Cody Walker. This one, luckily, uh, between Shelton and Luopamanu, they're able to stop him for three-yard loss. Second and 13, his seconds are ticking away here in the third quarter. Drew Morgan with his filthy backstep spin move gets to inside the 15-yard line. And once again, Arkansas threatening in the red zone, even though their offense hasn't felt that dangerous. And touchdown, Jeremy Sprinkle for second in the game. And you can see this game just got even more important as the only other undefeated Big 12 team, Texas, lost. Upset by Iowa State. Now both Arkansas and Idaho also just sitting outside the top 25. So this game is going to most likely in this fourth quarter settle who breaks into the top 25 and takes control of the Big 12 Conference. Matt Linehan, read option to the right. Don't know what happened on that edit play. Might go back and fix it. But if you're listening right now, that means I didn't because I got too into this game. Sprinkle finding the pass over the middle. He's just tearing this team apart. They've got to bring a safety up on him or something. Cody Walker getting space too. Idaho has just started to disintegrate defensively the later this game has gone on and Cody Walker takes advantage of it. Having a very Isaiah Saunders-like last week. I mean, look at him just run through almost all of Idaho's defense 
as now it has become a 14-point lead here in the fourth quarter. Idaho really had control of this game early, and now you look at the clock and the score, and you're like, what has happened? Jacob Sandin, though, trying to not let these fans leave the Gibby Dome on homecoming. Disappointed. This is the biggest game Idaho has played in over 30 years, and they are refusing to lose. Matt Linehan putting the team on his back, third and inches, hand off to Duckworth. He picks it up this time. Hasn't been too consistent on those third and shorts. Ah, Matt Linehan, Matt Linehan, getting greedy. He is big play, Matt. He's going to force some balls. That's what we love about him. More end up hitting than he ends up missing, but that could be a crucial one as Arkansas can make it a three-possession game here in this one with not a lot of time left in the fourth. And if Idaho's defense keeps playing the way they've been playing, they're going to put it in the end zone here. And Ricky Towns wants one himself. Ricky Towns, seven-yard reception, team loving it. They know that one almost, but certainly puts it away. But never let the Vandals get a roll at home. Ruben Moella, he's like, I'll return one. You already robbed me of one. He takes across the 50. Matt Linehan drops back, drops back deep. Once again, the line just can't hold up. Even though they're running like pass sets, and shifting the defense for it. Matt Linehan really trying to kick his team back in it. Bringing up fourth and seven. What can Idaho pull out some magic here? 21 point comeback with only about three minutes left to go in the fourth. He's being pressured immediately to right. Turnover on down. That one is all but certainly going to end this one. Ricky Town there handing off to the backup running back Mitchell. Once again, bad angles, bad tackling. Touchdown Arkansas. And this one got blown open late. As Arkansas just pads the stats there. And Idaho, yeah, they should have their heads down as they were in control of this game early. But as you can see when trying to figure out why this game was lost, the second half, easily. 49 points for Arkansas to Idaho's three. I'm not going to win many games like that. You can't give up that many points, especially when you're not putting points up on the board yourself. Now, this is... Um, a big loss for Idaho in a multiple of reasons, other than the fact that we're no longer undefeated. It's our first conference loss. Um, also, Idaho being um, really executing their game plan like they would have liked. Um, keeping the time of possession, really keeping the ball on the ground. You know, other than a couple turnovers and bad tackles, Idaho really played to their game plan. However, the lack of Idaho's depth in the Big 12 finally showed up in a game. The offensive line could not block in the second half. The defense couldn't tackle and force any pressure on the freshman, Ricky Town, and he was able to start picking up his game late as we really got to him early. And the big problem is Arkansas is now 6-0 in conference ahead of us in the Big 12 North, meaning they're running out of games to lose as they're only played conference opponents to this point. Um, yeah, we're, we're just uh, – it's an uphill battle for Idaho, nothing we're going to shy away from. Theoretically, if we go 11-1 and and Arkansas goes undefeated and we still don't make the Big 12 championship game, we will celebrate an 11-1 and season here in Moscow, Idaho. So that's our goal right now, go 11-1, and which means we need to focus on next week and the West Virginia Mountaineers. Anyways, if you're new to this channel, make sure you leave it a like and hit that red subscribe button. I really appreciate it and really want to welcome you to the channel. If you're old, thanks for coming back and checking it out. Now, everybody, I want you to drop a comment down below on who you think the player of the game this week should be. And also, don't forget to vote for Isaiah Saunders for last week. Anyways... Thanks for tuning in, you guys, and keep gaming.